Hello, I'm Lance Lysowski from the Buffalo News Sabres beat writer, coming to you again with our series on questions facing the Sabres entering the offseason. So many that we had entering this year were answered throughout these 82 games. Now there's others, and they're and they're not as prominent, right? Last coming in, it was okay. To, is, is Dylan Cousins going to be the second line center? Is Rasmus Stalin going to take that step? Well, now. It's all about improving on the margins for this team. They've got the high-end skill. They know how to score goals. Uh, and it, outside of the goalie question, which we've talked about so much, I wanted to leave it out of this series because it's just so obvious. I've written about it already. I wanted to really attack some of the other questions facing this group. And the latest in that series is Jordan Greenway. We know the Sabres gave up quite a bit to get him at the deadline, a second and fifth round pick. That's that's a price to pay. Second round pick, that's a value, especially in, with how talented this draft class is expected to be. But Greenway addressed, or the thinking behind the acquisition was that he would address the lack of physicality. They needed somebody with that six foot six frame who has the skating ability to play in Don Granado's system, which I don't necessarily know that Brett Murray in Rochester would have been able to do. So Greenway, he had the resume. Two double-digit goal seasons. He was a member of one of the top defensive lines in the NHL. Fell out of favor in Minnesota. Started the year in in, with, with injury problems. Missed the first 16 of 18 games. You know, kind of lost lost a lot of confidence along the way. We saw that carry over once he even arrived in Buffalo. Tentative, not attacking. And let's face it, like, he was playing with an injury. Um, not only did he miss four games with an upper body injury, it le really leads you to wonder, did he, did he have it coming in? Um, not something serious enough to, to de derail a trade or, or possibly, you know, raise a red flag. But they identified this player as somebody who can come in and much like Alex Tuck and others on this roster, reach another level in this system with Don Granato as coach, who, of course, New Greenway from their time at the USA Hockey National Team Development Program. And it was a rocky 17 games for Greenway, particularly the first eight. Wasn't physical enough. The skating wasn't where it was in Minnesota. You just knew something was up there, whether it be the crisis of confidence or an injury. Uh, missed those four games, came back. Over the final nine, he was among the best on the team. In high he was tied for first in generating high-danger scoring chances at five-on-five. Five. His shot quality, I believe, was fourth, if I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly from what I just wrote. So there is a base there that is much better at the end of the season than it was when he first arrived. Um, he acknowledged in his end-of-season talk with reporters that He's gonna. He's not taking much time off at all this summer. He knows what areas that he has to attack in, in his off-season training program to get ready. He's somebody like Riley Stillman that will benefit from a full training camp, getting acclimated to not only the system at five on five, but the way that the Sabres kill penalties or the way they're going to what the adjustments they're going to make this summer is much different than the way the Minnesota Wild killed penalties when Greenway was there. And you saw it when he was on the ice, there was tentativeness. There was, he was unsure about where to be. You're not going to have that, or you shouldn't have that in training camp. They need him, you know, whether he's on the fourth line or the second line, wherever he lines up, they need him to live up to the potential they see in him. Granada was the one who banged the table for them to acquire Greenway. They see him as being somebody who could end up, you know, playing in a variety of roles, versatility. Uh, he'll eventually have a role in the second power play unit, working net front, which is something they've needed. Um, there's little subtleties that he did bring. Once he was back from the injury, there were times where opponents were trash talking the Sabres bench, particularly guys like Darlene. Greenway skates in front of them, and nothing comes of it. The talking stops. He is a mountain of a man at six foot six, and although he's not dropping the gloves like an enforcer, that's not his game. He keeps players honest on the ice because they know, hey, that's not somebody you want to mess with. And defensemen get get jittery when they're breaking the puck out. They got to look over their shoulder because he is a big guy, right? He's not going to hit him right in the numbers, but he'll hit you and he'll make you think twice about what your breakout pass is going to be. He could be a real difference maker. That addressed a need that the Sabres don't have to go out and get this offseason necessarily. If you look at the balance of this lineup, I know everybody's focused on what does this team need in the playoffs. They need that physicality. How are they going to get it from within? Look at Alex Tuck. You're telling me he's not a physical player. Tage Thompson's become one. Dylan Cousins has become one. 
Quinn and Paterka have that in them. They just got to get bigger and stronger. The same goes for Peyton Krebs. He fought twice in a three-week span, and he brought that feistiness they were looking for. On the back end, they've got Matias Samuelson. They brought in Riley Stillman, who also confidence issue when he arrived, and you can't fix that stuff in the middle of the season when there's no practice time. Now, Greenway, only $3 million the next two years. That is a really good number. I think that is another reason why that that – acquisition cost was as high as it is he fits perfectly in the room but now it's time for him to deliver like there is the excuses are gone once training camp is over in the fall and he needs to be the guy that Granado Adams envisioned at the time of the trade I'm Lance Lysowski with the Buffalo News have a great day